From above the rolling greys of April, there came a wailing. <laughs> an unnatural chorus sprung from the throes of an ancient and inconsolable melancholia. <laughs> such as this? Girl Opaline, wrapped in amber. From hollow eyes shot a youth extinguished by experience endured. silent, save for the faint scent of rotting meat that reached her lungs. What time had passed since they nailed shut the windows and bolted the doors? There is a sickness in this house. Long had she stood by the bedside. Long had she tended the wounds. But this was something new. The label read poison.
this gentle whisper, the girl recited a remembered passage, something that had soothed her as a child. Patient, calmed, she set herself to the task. The flesh crumpled beneath the press of her thumb. With it done, the hand fell limp, and stillness reigned. to the floor she let herself drift away from one nightmare and into the next. She found herself at the foot of the mountain once more. But it is different now. A darkened wind cut through her. Something stirred, and there it was. A figure across the lake. Was it the Woman of Winds? No. This was its trap, sprung. Her hand raised out, unknowing, unfeeling, dragging herself, her cells into the lake of despair. The murderous grief swole up inside her, and with monstrous force she let it. Annihilation. Suddenly, awake. The walls belong to the shadows now. Then a scream. A pang in her heart told her that she knew what must be done. Thank you. 
When she lifted her eyes, she knew the time for pain was over. And with her strength spent, she resolved to run her fingers through the dead woman's hair. They would stay like this for just a little while, until all things melted away before the sound of the wind. And there she would end, where I begun. <laughs>